Hello, I'm Andrew Malloy, the Automation Wizard, and I'm going to be showing you how to do very quick capture in Obsidian. Uh, I've done this before uh, using drafts as well, but in my previous video, I was using a custom action. Uh, the main reason I was using that, which I didn't mention specifically in the video, is that uh, because it had a script, you could replace text and do some text processing before it ends up in your uh, actual Obsidian folder, whether that's adding tags or removing tags or replacing certain keywords and text. Um, and also there's there was the file picker um, that came up as well, um, so you could choose where to place it in your vault. Um, for really quick capture, and probably for my circumstances as well, of just having an inbox uh, f uh, page to actually just throw everything, everything into and then organize an obsidian itself. Uh, we don't actually need all that. So I'm going to show you how to do this with just the built-in actions of uh, drafts itself. And uh, this all came about uh, when someone asked me on my previous video about um, how would they do this for uh, Google Drive. Uh, my video was basically showing how to do it for Dropbox. And uh, in checking into Google Drive, I realized um, I could just do this uh, very easily with the built-in actions anyway. Uh, so I'm going to show you both Dropbox and Google Drive uh, just using built-in actions. Uh, you can also do iCloud as well. Uh, there's an action built in for that as, uh, to do that, um, but that's um, a bit more difficult to show on natural Windows machine. So uh, just assume it's exactly the same process. I have two vaults here I've set up uh, specifically for this kind of demonstration. Um, Dvault is in my Dropbox folder and Gvault is in my Google Drive. Um, I've just created a note in each called Inbox and we'll assume that's the note that we're going to want our quick capture text to uh, go into. So I'm going to pull over and show my phone at the moment and this is how you're going to actually set it up to do this. So I'm going to into my drafts uh, app. Um, let's just give this a name of test or my note of test and then open the actions. Um, you see some of my uh, custom actions here um, while I was experimenting with. You can ignore that for now. Um, everyone who installs drafts is going to have these actions built in. So what you're looking for is append to Dropbox journal. Um, this will just require the minimum of changes to get what you want. Um, so if I hold down on that, select edit, and here's the action. Uh, I can change the name and the color and the icons and everything. Uh, I'm not going to bother for the moment just to show you what uh, what's you actually need to change and then customize it however you want. Um, one thing you may want to do is go right down here to after success. And so at the moment, default is basically it won't do anything. Um, now you may want to play with this and do other kind of processing. Uh, for me, I when I make a note for quick capture, I want it archived after it's processed. So if I just select archive, that means when you've uh, run the action, it will then automatically uh, archive the note as well. And so the main thing is to go up to the top here uh, and under steps, there's a single step. Let's go to the step and it's a step for Dropbox. So we go into that specific step. Now I've already changed things here, but what you want to change is the name. Uh, so the name of the file is inbox and dot MD for markdown. So remember to add the extension and then the path. So the path is just the vault name uh, it's at the top level of my Dropbox. If you have any kind of folder structure, then you'll want to add that to the path as well, depending on where your quick capture note is going to be. Uh, by default, uh, this action has date and draft. Uh, I've just changed it slightly by removing uh, a line break and adding another hashtag just to make the uh, date a little bit smaller. Um, so you see that um, 
the custom action just has draft, but actually I quite like the fact it has a date to keep it more organized and get an idea of when you've added crypt capture notes. Uh, so this is fine for me. Uh, by default, uh, this action has a append, that's the important one. So it's not overwriting anything, it just adds to the existing note. So I'm just gonna save and exit this, and I'll click on the append and Dropbox journal, and hopefully this test will appear with a date once it succeeds. And you can see it's blanked out on the phone because it's tra it's uh, now archived and uh, opened a new note. And over here, you can already see it's in the vault. Uh, so we've got the date here in Markdown and the actual text. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And you can reuse the action again and again. So if I just do another one on the phone. run the action again and of course it should have today's date again there we go appended great so basically if you want to do this I'll do a another test note uh, but this time uh, for Google so if you scroll down a bit further this should be in the default order that uh, everyone has when they first use drafts. So we have a similar one here, uh, append to Google Drive journal. Effectively exactly the same thing, but it's just for the Google Drive instead of Dropbox. So I'm just gonna bring this vault over. This is the one for my uh, Google Drive. And so I'm just gonna edit this. I've not edited this one at all, so you can see what you actually do need to edit. Um, screw, scroll down change this to archive as well uh, go into the actual step and this is how it appears by default and this is actually the same settings as the Dropbox version by default uh, mostly um, so we want to get rid of this and uh, name it inbox.md always remember the extension for markdown and then the path in this case it's in the roots so we'll see if this works g vault uh, let's put it in the forward slashes g vault not 100% sure the ah, well, I also got to be careful of the autocorrect real world issue so it's worth seeing that I guess uh, make sure it is G vault and the uh, end forward slash I'm not 100% sure it's actually needed or not but put it in there anyway just in case it seems to work with it and uh, I'll leave it as it is this way with a big space line break and uh, the hashtag I would change that because it will look odd because the next time you append something it's going to be right up against the previous notes. The line breaks are going to be odd. Um, you probably want an N end line break in here. Um, but you'll see how it works. Um, if it doesn't appear straight away I may need to close this vault. Uh, that's the only, reason, uh, the only reason for that is that I don't actually have the Google Drive client on my machine at the moment. Um, so I'm actually using it as a mounted drive and that doesn't uh, refresh automatically at sync. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, this is a good example as well as the first time you use this, uh, it's gonna ask you to authorize. Um, the same thing with Dropbox as well. So any other third party service that's trying to connect with, it'll ask you to first um, authorize it. So that's what I'll do for Google in my normal Gmail account. Allow, and this is a one-time deal. You just do it once and uh, you don't have to do it again. Okay, so try it again. I don't know if it did it. Well, we'll see it twice if it uh, didn't do it the first time. I guess not because it's not actually archived notes. 
Okay, I had some issues with my mounted drive, so I've had to install Google Backup and Sync uh, to sync it correctly. Um, there may be some issues, depending on if you just set up the file um, on the desktop and it doesn't quite sync in time uh, to when you're quick capturing, but you can edit that afterwards and, and once it's set up and running, uh, it should work fine. Uh, so I've got my G Vault here, my inbox file, and I'm just going to show you the settings for this Appenta Google Drive step. So here you see we've got inbox.md uh, extension important again. Uh, notice what's different compared to Dropbox is for Google there's no leading uh, forward slash um, or backslash and nothing at the end. Uh, only put something in the end if there is a, a, an end forward slash if there is an actual folder, uh, subfolder uh, if not, don't use any, and uh, if it's in the parent, uh, as this is, then just the name of the folder. Um, if you put in a leading slash, it'll actually tr try to create a new folder with that uh, leading or, or uh, end forward slash uh, as part of the folder name. Uh, so I learned that the hard way in experimenting with that, so don't do that. Uh, just have it as these settings uh, templates, again, exactly as you want it. Um, just uh, yeah, we'll just give it a try as like this. So I've got notes. No, I haven't. So let's call this test. If I can spell test. Okay, go to the actions. Append to Google Drive journal, and uh, hopefully this should actually work once it says succeed. Okay, succeeded. And yeah, this is what happens if you have an empty file to begin with. It kind of doesn't know how to append it. So uh, it's good this has happened as I can show you what you need to do. So if I go to this second inbox that's appended with a one, uh, we've got our note here. So once this happens, uh, don't worry about it. What I'm going to do is delete the original file. This, this seems to only happen uh, when you're firsting it with an empty file. Um, and it is saved, so it's just something odd going on with the Google Sync, but it's worth knowing. So I'm just going to delete the original file. Uh, delete. And then I'm just going to rename this back to Inbox. OK. And I'm just going to make sure it's synced. Okay, so I'm going to leave the original text in here. Like I said, once you have something in, so it may be worth just always keeping a title in if you like clear out your inbox, just have some text in to make sure it doesn't uh, get confused with um, uh, conflicting synced files. Uh, Dropbox doesn't seem to have this issue, but uh, if you're using Google Drive, then this is obviously something to be aware of. So I'm just going to do another test, let's call it test2, and append, and hopefully I'll do it to the same file. So it's saved, now hopefully it syncs across, okay, let's give it another go. Make sure it's Definitely saving to the same file. Notice it's also archiving uh, because of the setting we put in that action. Okay, so that seems to be working. Uh, I'm just going to make sure by closing it out. Uh, so I don't even have the vault open. So blind test. I'm going to save this to our Google Drive and hopefully when we come to open our vault it'll be there without any multiple conflict files. Okay, it's done that, so let's open our vault and see if it's there.
and here we have it in our inbox. So once you get set up, then uh, Dropbox or Google Drive um, for using drafts, and I highly recommend drafts for quick capture on phone and and even Apple Watch if you have one. Um, just add it and send to whatever third-party syncing service you have. Um, I don't think there's a way to do it with Obsidian Zone syncing at the moment. There's no way to access that. Maybe that'll come once they open the API. Um, but they do have in drafts um, a pen to iCloud journals. I've not tested this, but I assume uh, it should work in a very similar fashion. Have the same kind of settings of just uh, file name and path if you're using iCloud and should do the same thing. Uh, so that's how you kind of very quickly capture just using built-in actions and draft. Uh, drafts just have to edit the file name and path uh, as long as you have uh, set up a quick capture inbox file in drafts. And I'll see you in the next video.